Greetings and welcome back to Academia, the school simulator. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are recess time on day eight. Uh, I want to check on our um, people here. We have four teachers at the moment. We have seven workers, cooks five, janitors 14, and nurses six. Probably have too many nurses, but I think we should be okay. Now the next goal on our to-do list is to get 150 students, 200, and then 300 students. That's an awful lot of students. Um, and I think it would be good to start building more classrooms to get to that goal. At the moment, our finances are looking very, very steady indeed. Um, where I think a lot of these areas can be shared amongst other classrooms if we decide to get more people coming in here. Uh, but the question is, how do we get the cafeterias to be the right size and things like that? If we build another four classrooms, let's see, that's going to be 240. We're going to need to have lots and lots of tables and they hold eight students each, except for this one that doesn't have enough benches. Oh dear. Um, so eight, that would be 30 tables we need in our, um, in our cafeteria. Right now we have, let's see, one, two, we have six times three. So that's 18, nowhere near the number we need. So we're going to have to adjust this, I think. Let's build this, first of all, the, uh, whatchamacallit thing here. Um, cafeteria, let's build our bench right there. And the other question is, you know, do we want to have maybe a second cafeteria where the other students will, will go? I'm kind of wanting to put some more classrooms up here so that they can share all of these facilities quite easily. But, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, well, what should we do about the cafeteria? I'm wondering if I should extend this wall out and, um, and build more seating here. Uh, possibly also extending this way to build more seating. Man, that's a lot. So what did we say? 240? We need 30 tables for, for lunchtime. All right, let's start out by getting... Ooh, can we make a non-square zone? This is a very good question. Can we edit the zone... Computer. Do, 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 do. Let's get cafeteria here. And can we, oh, can we also extend this? No. Okay, so we cannot have a non square zone. That's going to put a little bit of a wrench into my plans. Hmm. I think we may even be better off just building a second cafeteria elsewhere for stuff. Hmm. Or, or alternatively, just put the cafeteria in different rooms, essentially. Though I have had trouble with that each room needed to be enclosed with walls. Uh, otherwise, it didn't count as indoors. So that's unfortunate. But let's see what else can, we can do. We might be able to put another cafeteria up here. And then just extend the kitchen uh, from here upward. I think that might work pretty well but we do need to get our classrooms sorted out as well because at the moment they're kind of, um, and maybe I I'm thinking of kind of like mirroring them up here. But we do have to get this cafeteria situation sorted out for sure. The other option that we could do is put another cafeteria on this side of the kitchen and that might provide us with the extra tables that we need without inconveniencing uh, our things too much. That, that actually might be a really good idea. All right, let's do that. Let's take that idea and kind of run with that for a bit. Let's get our kitchen extended all the way up here. And we'll put our extra cafeteria tables on this side. I don't know if we'll have enough room for all three sets of tables, but we're going to do our best. Let's get this wall this way. I don't really like building to the edge of the map, but I think it'll be fine because we're going to have our students being up here. Um, so I think we should be okay. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that this is not a mistake. So, all right, let me do that then. Let's get our cafeteria food counters and things here. And then we'll have two plate counters where we have a space now because before we didn't really have a space. 
and um, okay, that's two of those. Another one there, another one there, and another plate counter here. I'm kind of placing them where I think we might have doors available for us. We're gonna need our staff door there here, and I think one right there. Let's delete this wall for now. Oh, not this one. Whoa, no, 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 no. Not that one. We need that one still. Okay, and let us put down some tables. One, two, and three. Oh, we can do our six tables. Fantastic. Oh, that's very exciting. And we'll have one space in between, right? Yep. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Okay, very cool. And get the benches. There we are. Very nice. All right. Come on, there we go. Okay, so this is much better already. I think we're gonna need at least the extra set up there. So we're at dismissal time. I think, oh, we need to erase our blueprint lines as well. Do, 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 do. Oh, the whole area pretty much, there we go. Um, we're gonna get our kitchen zone extended. Oh my gosh, they're still cooking food. Why are they cooking? They should not be cooking. Everybody's going home. Unless they're going to have like a staff party later. That could be too. <laughs> I don't know if that's such a thing or not. All right, let's remove the kitchen zone and then put it right back in to expand into the whole area. Now, the only issue is, well, I don't think there's an issue. I think these guys will be able to get out the top of this building um, and go to the sidewalk we're going to have right there. Let's do that. Okay, cool. And we'll get our orange wall in here. Oh my god, at the edge of the map. Such a bad, bad planning. Oh my god. I don't like to have the walls go to the edge of the map. <laughs> but in this case, I don't mind so much. Okay, let's get our tables sorted out. There we go. Very, very nice. And our benches. Hopefully we're going to get our constructors in here and working working on the double getting things sorted <clears throat> we can add to the kitchen uh, a little bit later okay now zones again we shall organize those uh, kitchen library cafeteria this is what we want oh okay there we go mm, there we are nice the cafeteria has been planted let's get our objects sorted out too with a, maybe another food counter here, and then a plate counter. Cool, that's looking really good. And we also need to build some doors. I kind of forgot about the doors part, which is would be slightly inconvenient, I think, just slightly. Get our concrete to there. We have concrete here. I think we do. I think we have concrete there. Just layer the entire thing with concrete. And then the kitchen tiles need to be kitchen tiles. And one more concrete there in that door and there. Looking good. Going pretty, pretty nicely. All right. So I feel like we have some little bit of vindication there with that. Move that that way. Connect the walkways very nicely. Kind of glad I didn't finish off this club area because we're still building, we're still expanding things. I feel like the rest of our school's gotten way, way bigger than our classrooms, but hopefully we'll be um, addressing that balance very shortly. Now, we do need to have some of the club things. Here we go, three there. I'm gonna have another entrance somewhere along here. We could be scientific. Three, six, seven from the end, right? Three, six, seven, and a tile. Here we are. Three, four, five, six, seven, and a tile. There we go. And have another entrance to the club area. 
and we do need to address this zone. Let's take it out and then add it back in. I should really do something with this zone other than having a bunch of bushes in the center that <laughs> looks a little bit funky, I think. Um, but in any case, I'm right now I'm I'm taking the game on really fast speed just to get a lot of these things put in here. But I would like to change the club zone so that it has more seating for students, uh, maybe some more trash cans, not that they actually use the trash cans, but certainly our janitors use the trash cans to organize stuff. Um, there we go, trash can. Have one basically at the entrance to each, or each entrance to the club area because they're going to pick up, they're going to deposit refuse that they find into the trash can and then pick up from the trash can and deliver to the garbage container down here. How's it going? Is it going okay? How's our, uh, did we, oh, we didn't change the kitchen zone yet. Let's make sure we get that sorted. Remove this and get our kitchen back in here. Um, is that too big or something? Hold on. Does it not work that way? Hmm. Oh, you know what? It's The zone is fine. It's just they haven't put the tiles in. I was wondering why that area wasn't... Uh, it just happened to be that they hadn't put the tiles in. Alright, it's all good. It's fine. No need to worry. Now, for here, what we could do... Um, another thing is we could make the toilets bigger or we could add lockers here in some way. Are there other objects that we would want to add? Let's see, we've got lockers. Um, hmm, fax machine. <laughs> I don't think we need that at the moment. Nope, oh, water fountain. Oh, that would be awesome to have a water fountain. I remember in my school, we always had water fountains. Um, you know what? Outside outside the toilet area. You know what? I'm going to delete these guys here. Can I just put it over the top? No, I need to actually remove them. Go to build mode. Demolish these guys. We're going to have water fountains outside the bathrooms. Maybe I'll put an any toilet here. That seems like a good plan. I think for consistency, I'll make this wall a tiled wall. And this will be our another bathroom because you can never have too many bathrooms I think just generally Let's put that one there okay and that will kind of serve this other area right there get concrete here and here all right that's looking really good okay now get our bushes we need our bushes here there and there, and then we will have put some water fountains in here. I think we can have what is this? One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. Take this one out, and then we put our water fountains there. Man, I remember when I was a kid. Always have recess, you get so tired and you know, needing to drink water, and it's like you could barely wait in line. And I remember this as a kid. It was very um, traumatic. Okay, cool. And then here we can have all of our lovely planter boxes, but we're also going to have to have doors to get into the cafeteria. These guys have their doors. Let's put our bushes around here. Boom, boom. Concrete tile there and there and there and there. Okay, makes it easier to see where we need our bushes once we put in the tiles. There we go. Over there and our planters because planters are lovely. Let's put them all in there. Oh, 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 oh. We need to have instead of this here, we want concrete here and there because we're gonna put in a staff door so that our cooks can get in here from either side of the school. Okay, cool. It is looking very lovely, very, very lovely. 
And of course the money is draining out because we have not built any more, <laughs> any more classrooms where we can uh, get some more um, students in. Wow, the clinic is like empty. I expected it to be really full. Um, I wonder if that was like rebalanced or something because um, I remember in the last playthrough there were like millions of children in there. So, right, let's go to the club area and we'll build some more tables and chairs and things. Kind of like maybe here-ish. Um, maybe we'll do it this way. For the center there. And put these up here. Yeah, that'll be nice. Oops. Plenty of spots for students to sit down, relax, have a chat with their friends. There's always, I remember sitting outside at school. It's like, oh yeah, you know, you get to relax and breathe the fresh air. And sometimes it was annoying because it was too hot or um, too windy or whatever. But yeah, this is looking good. Right, our students are gonna be quite happy about this arrangement, I feel. I hope they will be anyway. Okay, so these guys will align these. We'll be making this extremely symmetrical, um, which is okay sometimes. And then here we'll have this. Yeah, right, one tile from there. Okay, nice. It's gonna be looking really good. I think we'll have to chop one of these pine or palm trees, not pine trees. Good lord, they're not pine trees. Um, but otherwise, it should be fine. Okay, cool. It's more like a very crowded nature zone, but it should be fine. <laughs> I just want to have enough room for all of my students to sit if they want to sit down and have a nice time. All right, we're ending day 10. Um, let's see what the next day brings us, but I do want to build more classrooms here on this upper side of our school. Hmm, I'm kind of thinking how I should do this. I like to have this central walkway. That's pretty cool. So I think we'll do that. We'll continue with that this way. All right. Next day, it is day 11. Okay. And we're going to get our brick walls. And again, let's just measure this out. We got nine by 28. Go. Let's go our nine right here. Whoopsies. Nine. Good, good, good. And that's one, two, twenty-eight. Boom. We'll do the same with this side. Kind of continue the same pattern that we have going on. Because I kind of like this arrangement that I... I have for the classrooms. It looks very cozy. They all have windows. Life is lovely. They have a plant even. It's quite nice, quite nice. Okay, let's just take this wall from here. Hello, I are Aminta. Are you a happy girl? You look like a very happy girl. Yes, my sweet girl. My Araminta just came over. I think I misaligned that wall. Somehow it is not correct. No, it is correct. Oh, I've misaligned other things. Okay. That's what I've done. I've changed. Oh, okay. So this is going to be way too long. It needs to be 20. Huh? Hold on. 28. That is 28. Is this one 28? It is. But the center wall is misaligned. We need to actually measure on the inside. I think it was, was it nine? No, it wasn't nine. Couldn't have been nine, but it could have been 12. All right. 12 on the inside. There we go. Poor guys got trapped there 12 right there we go now we could leave a larger space out here I don't know maybe we should <clears throat> but I love having this open courtyard uh, it really makes me quite happy to see that let's build our doors um, here we go there we go and here get our concrete tiles And on the inside, we want wood floors because they're pretty. All 
right. Looking good. Now we'll put in all of our lovely um, classroom stuff. Okay, we'll put in, let's see, the desks first, probably. And our chair. Chalkboard. Nice. And then the millions of student chairs. <laughs> All right, I was going to uh, put in millions of student chairs, but um, I realized that if I did that, I could not hire a teacher, <laughs> which I need to do because they have very high hiring bonuses. So we're going to need to hire a teacher. So I've only done one classroom so far. This classroom is a sophomore classroom. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll make this a soft room, a soft room, a sophomore classroom for students to come in. Okay. We'll kind of mirror the bottom area there. Um, and then we're going to hire a teacher. Let's hire a teacher. Who have we got? We've got Chris Top still. We could hire him. Um, I like his outfit. He's so shiny. <laughs> Let's hire him. He has good fashion sense. We'll just pick him <laughs> because he has good fashion sense. Um, yeah, that's that's a silly reason to hire someone, but it's okay. We're, we'll be silly. Um, let's get our toilet zoned. I seem to have forgotten to zone the toilet. That's kind of inconvenient. Um, and I'm not going to build anything because right now I have $294, which is simply inconvenient. I need right now to get... Uh, 30 more sophomores so they could come tomorrow. Yes Make sure we click this in 30 students boom, then we'll give us another three thousand dollars a day and Hopefully this amount of facilities will be up to snuff. We might have to have more cooks Cooking stuff so far. It looks like all of the uh, buffets are filled though. So that's a great thing. But yeah, we are, we're very a seat and we thought we would have, um, my funds are running low. Yes, I've noticed that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So tomorrow we'll have our students and maybe we'll have some money. Come on money. Um, and our sophomore classroom is, um, underpopulated with desks. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. So anyway, it's kind of, we'll see. We're going to get to tomorrow. It'll be fine. Just got to wait for all the workers to exit the map. And isn't that the truth? By the time they get home, it's like seven or eight o'clock at night. Oh, those poor people they work so hard. I know that when I was a kid, I didn't appreciate people that well. It's kind of sad. All right. So here we're getting all the desks put in. Hooray. And, um, we do need more cooks and maybe more dish, um, more dishwashing areas. Let's put some, okay, there we go. Oh, 5,000 money. Hooray. And we got a uh, school expansion one fifty completed. Excellent. All right. So this is good. Oh my goodness. All right. Kitchen. Let's get another sink in here. And I think we can get another refrigerator. I don't know how many refrigerators are required per stove, but let's get one per each stove. There we go. And they can be cooking stuff. Um, sophomore classroom has been assigned. Let's get the other classrooms organized. Let's do one at a time to make sure that we have enough money to do stuff. Classroom, student chairs. That's all we really need. They can wait for their windows, alas, until <laughs> later. But I do want to get, you know, the students in here. So they start learning, they start generating money for us, etc., etc. Though it may not be that practical um, because right now we're toward the end of the school year and our sophomore grades are like down right now because we had all these new students come and they may not, they may not graduate to the next class. So I'm kind of on the fence about that. It's like, eh, do we want to do that? I think this was our freshman class on the bottom. Make that, that hire a teacher. 
All right, we have, ooh, Reina Abadia. Let's hire you. You seem to be qualified. Here, go there. And we will also, let's get our freshmen transferred in. See now, here's what I was talking about in the other episode before about the arrival date may not be what you want it to be. So the, the arrival is gonna be in three days. I should have waited to hire my teacher until much later uh, in that case. So now we know though that we can set up these other uh, classrooms and then kind of wait to have enough money um, to do that or to hire you know teachers we can wait uh, a few days time but we can order them we can order the the transfer of the students there we go i really like this size for a classroom it's so good i'll let you know what it is in just a second oh whoops this one oh that's wrong this room is one too long these these ones on the ends <laughs> i kind of messed that up it's okay though. We're fine. We'll, we'll have a little bit of freeformness here. It's not a bad thing. Definitely not a bad thing. Okay, great. Um, and if you want to know how big that is exactly, let me just put in, what do we have here? We want our junior and then senior. So the junior classroom, the perfect size for me is 12 by 7. And then senior is going to be Oopsies. Nope, nope. What happened? Hello. What happened there? That's interesting. Can I get rid of this? Um. No. <laughs> Can I. Let's save the game. Um. And reload it. That's an interesting little bug. I think it's a bug. Alright, so let's go to the main menu. And we'll reload this. Hopefully it'll be, that thing will be gone. Hello, main menu. Alrighty, and we're back. I just reloaded it and it is now fine. So we're gonna set up our senior zone over here. Like that, boom. Okay, and what shall we do now? Uh, I guess we'll just wait until we have um, our our time where our transferees can come in. Let's make sure we order them from the world. I feel like I'm ordering supplies when I do this transferee thing <laughs> and not just transferring these poor students that are um, probably in another classroom right now. Maybe they're feeling crowded from the other classroom, but overall they're okay. And soon they're going to be whisked away to another school where they have no choice and no, you know, anything. And it's kind of, like, kind of sad in a way. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to wait, um, and not wait in game. I'm not going to make you guys wait. I'm going to go come back um, on the day where they come. Uh, hopefully we'll get them in here and we'll do some more constructing then so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time <laughs>